What's up, guys? It is August 14th, Wednesday. Well, Wednesday night. Anyway, so it's going to be a short vlog today. Um, we uh, went back to work today uh, from having a day off. Pretty simple day, straightforward. But got home, figured, kind of sit down, do some work, figure out what's going on as far as the business is right going. Uh, we uh, were scheduled to have a phone call today at 9. That didn't happen, so we left a message for the bride. Um, see what's going on there. Um, it kind of got me thinking about a couple different things, and um, one of the main things is this past 30 days, I haven't done really a lot of uh, social media advertising, engagement, stuff like that. It's really been pushed off to the, you know, to the side burner, and we're kind of lucky in the sense that like the four, the th four, three of the four brides that we've talked to so far, might well, I guess three of the five brides we've talked to, have booked us. Um, the fourth bride we're talking to, we're meeting in Kentucky tomorrow. Uh, the fifth bride we were supposed to have a conversation tonight. We left a message. Hopefully she'll get back to us. We'll see. Um, but at the end of the day, we're actually kind of lucky that we, we landed the ones that we have. And the, the reason why I say that is because we didn't have a, a plan set out for our social media um, accounts for the past 30 days. And, you know, that kind of got me thinking. Maybe we should have some type of schedule where we, like, Put set, set aside time specific for social media. Um, so I kind of was thinking a little bit about it today um, and this evening, and I'm thinking what what I'm going to do personally for Graphic Sauce Media is obviously we've got the vlog. Vlog is going to happen every day, no matter what. That's that doesn't count. That's that's me documenting the journey, help talking to you guys, trying to help you guys out, basically giving you the insight into what I go through uh, when starting my business and the inner workings day to day to day. However, I'm thinking Tuesdays and Thursdays are going to be devoted to social media. And when I say that, I don't just mean that I'm just going to post on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but Tuesdays and Thursdays are going to be when I plan out what I'm going to post on Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And hopefully having those two days, you know, email correspondence and stuff like that, that's going to happen no matter what. But being able to put together Instagram pictures and Instagram posts and things like that. And then also look into like advertising on Instagram, uh, YouTube and things like that. Uh, Twitter postings and things like that. Really kind of, I want to say like, kind of hammer out what I'm going to do for the week. Um, and I'm feeling like Tuesdays and Thursdays are really good days to do that. Um, let me know in the comments below. I'm kind of curious. Do you guys have certain days that you work on um, this type of, you know, work on this type of uh, workload? Or do you guys really focus on, like, uh, every day I'm going to do about 30 to 40 minutes or 45 minutes to an hour? You know, do you do it every day? Is it every other day? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm kind of curious. This is just something I'm going to kind of test out. And um, this is just going to be something that I test out and see to see how it goes. So yeah, so I'm kind of bummed that the uh, phone call didn't work out tonight. Uh, we, like I said, Amanda left a message, uh, a voicemail. Hopefully um, the bride will get back to us and we will um, have a, you know, have that conversation tonight. Uh, so we're traveling down to Kentucky tomorrow. So we're getting prepared for that trip uh, tonight, making sure all of our ducks in a line. I'm gonna make sure that I've got videos on Amanda's laptop. The, uh, and that's a lesson learned from the last time we met with a client face to face uh, together is I didn't have any videos on our computer so we had to rely on our cell phone internet to connect to uh, connect the laptop to the internet so so we could stream some of the videos and it it didn't work out very well needless to say I didn't get the uh, videography gig she got the photography gig but I didn't get the videography gig I don't think that's why um, she ended up going with a friend of the family that offered it for free um, so you win some, you lose some. Uh, but lesson learned, so we will be loading up her computer with a few different uh, uh, videos. Um, we did a little bit of research on the venue just here, just now, and it seems to be like more of an outdoor country type of wedding. So I've done a couple of those in the past, so we'll definitely be putting those up 
on the on her computer so that we can just play them live for her. Um, but other than that, just trying to get our game plan set in motion, make sure that we are uh, prepared for questions and you know. Uh, Basically prepared to have a conversation. Basically prepared to have a conversation with this bride um, and groom uh, to kind of kind of win them over, and I think that's really what this is all about. Because at the because um, she's already because Amanda's already talked to her, um, you know, back and forth on Facebook and email, and she knows our pricing. She knows she knows our work. Um, you know, I really think this is more about you know personalize and person you know do our personalities match are we going to be a good fit you know together as a wife and husband videography photography and subject matter bride and groom so um, we might not even need the video but it's always good to have that stuff in the back uh, back up all right guys so one last thing before i wrap up this uh, vlog and like i said it's gonna be super short today um but one of the reasons that i really wanted to talk about um, planning out these um, these days where you interact on social media and you really kind of have a structure set up to where you're posting and trying to gain work for the future is mainly because you're you're not going to feel those effects for six to eight months, twelve months down the road, right? If for some reason, like like for example, like let's say we didn't book any clients these this past thirty days, right? Um, I'm not going to feel that in my wallet right now in in 12 months because well 8 to 12 months in 8 to 12 months I'd feel it because that's about how how far out I book my clients so in 8 to 12 months when you know I'm hitting a uh, hitting a low in the bank account or in the income then I'm going to be like well what happened why you know why am I not booking clients I feel like I'm booking clients all the time and that might be because I've you know started you know I've advertised I've uh, engaged in social media, um, engaged my ter my current clientele and things like that to gain that to gain that clientele to gain that business. But if you take if you take some time off, the problem doesn't arise right then and there. The problem arises down the road, and that's that's the issue that you're going to run into. You'll still feel it, like kind of like, oh man, I really haven't been on social media much. You know, you'll feel that right then and there, but your wallet won't feel that till down the line. And you know, it really doesn't matter how many videos or how many films or how many events or weddings or whatever you film or photo shoots or whatever, how many you're behind. Like if you've got, like right now I have four weddings that are on my, my editing desk right now and it'll be five this Saturday. The problem is if I don't cut out time to, to uh, engage with new customers, I'm gonna lose out on money. I'm gonna lose out on funding down the road. Now, granted, those people have already paid for their films in full, and you know that's fantastic. I really appreciate that. But I still need to be looking towards the future and finding out, like, okay, how do I gain more clients down the road while still going through the editing process, the the calling through videos and things like that. I still have to do all that, but it's got to be a nice juggling act. Okay, so we got kicked out of the office. Uh, looks like the client called Amanda back, so that's good to know. So anyway, to kind of wrap up what I was getting at, when you're, even when you're in a pinch, right? Like right now, I would say I'm in a pinch, right? I've got four weddings on my backlog, about to be five. I really, really need to focus on getting those done but at the same time if I let my video if I let my social network and my engagement fall off the radar I'm not gonna feel that right now I'm gonna I'm gonna feel that six to eight to twelve months somewhere in there I'm gonna feel that as a business standpoint so when I go to upgrade equipment or when I go to you know hire a second shooter or when I go to you know pay for web hosting or whatever the case may be when it comes to financials I'm gonna be hurting even though you know even though I've already got those clients, you know, already paid for, I still need to deliver their products, but I still need to be looking out for the best interest for the company as well. So I need to make sure that we always look to the future. So I think Tuesdays and Thursdays are going to work out really good. Like I said, leave it and leave a comment below. I'm kind of curious what your guys is, you know, what you're using, uh, as far as a schedule goes, if you even have a schedule, if you don't have a schedule, let me know too. I'm kind of curious. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure you leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up, share the video, everything that you can do to kind of spread the reach. I really do appreciate it. Um, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.